it's early, but we're off to see Micah and Diana in Kansas City. Unbelievable trainers at Hitchfit. Huge group of them. Then I'm gonna go visit Supplement World in Wichita. Uh, if I don't get a speeding ticket. I mean, my Tesla's fast, but this is just like raw American muscle. mandatory that I do an app check, so. Let's get that. It's Micah, my boy Micah, and look at we're practically twinsies tonight, he, he, huh? He got the memo, he got it. So look at the beautiful turnout here. This is the big fashion show. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna have clips of what's going on here, but everybody's in such an amazing mood. Everyone to do anything to do with Hitchfield. He's just a great person. Like, there's so much love in this room. We love life. this guy. And next up, Micah has a special introduction for our next- All right, so. I am proud to announce one of my very, very good friends. He came all the way down from Canada today. The owner of Magnum. I love you, brother. I love all that you do. Here's Marcus. Good evening, everybody. Wow, I'm loud. Yes, Marcus Collius, owner of Magnum Nutraceuticals. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room real quick. I'm wearing Invisalign. So I might sound like a 16 year old girl at times and it's like, no, seriously, you guys need to respect me. Okay, you know, I gotta start by saying how proud I am of everybody in this room. Just you guys coming out tonight and all these beautiful stories. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause, thank you. Personally, I like to think about and act like the 0.00001%, which is this group right here. The people who say, I can do it. I will do it. I'll come back stronger tomorrow. And frankly, I want to look like these people. I want to look like that guy right there, or that woman right there. Because when I try on my dress at home, I don't look as good as her. So I'm working hard. All right, I'm outside the Protein House. This is one of my favorite chains there are. Uh, especially for guys like me, this was made for us. High protein, low carb, high carb, good clean carb, or dirty carb. Great sauces, all based on health. If you see a protein house, this is the place to eat. You need to see this hotel uh, that I'm staying at at night. Um, I'm not sure what they were going for here. It's kind of like the New York, New York theme. More like horror movie style. Like, it, I don't know if they meant to do this, but anyway. about this job is going to places like Wichita that I normally wouldn't go. I don't think there's too many people um, pulling out the old uh, atlas and saying, I want to go to Wichita. But Wichita's awesome. Look at the view from my freaking room. It's gorgeous. And uh, yeah, Wichita's gonna be bomb. So it's about to go down. This is the Supplement World presentation.
mad respect right now for the Hyatt. Uh, I'm at the Hyatt Wichita, Hyatt Regency Wichita, and just look around. I got this huge gym. I got a ton of equipment, but man, I got a lot of space. It feels good. It doesn't feel like one of those basements where you're like, frick, this is a gross workout. Oh, I'm here at Genesis Gym in Wichita with my boy, Dustin. Dustin, how's that treating you? Baby, <laughs> got a lot of stimulus in my system. Got the BCAs flowing. Oh boy. Dustin's my boy, owns Supplement World and Onyx Nutrition. Frickin' still in his 20s. I'm hella jealous, yes. This guy's going places. But now I gotta beat him up because of my jealousy. to share with you what made this such a extremely successful trip for me. Leadership, the leadership that I dealt with here, first in Kansas City with Micah and Diana, unbelievable leaders, um, Christ-focused, and they just share that with the team. The way they love their team and the team is all put together to help people change their lives. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, then coming here to Wichita, we got Jeff and Dustin, exceptional leaders, um, leading this team and, and leading from the front lines. And I love that. They're still hands on there. They're so involved and it's just beautiful to see. I, I see a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of businesses where it's not the case anymore. People remove themselves too fast. I'm not even sure what that reasoning is. I feel a lot of people put in a lot of work for a short period of time, and the minute they can replace themselves, ah, I'll just put a manager in charge of this, and just walk away. I never see those people succeed uh, when you remove yourself too fast because people always wanna see the entrepreneur getting busy, keeping busy, staying in the grunt work, to me, that's how an entrepreneur does it. I understand there's gonna be many examples of the other way, for sure. In my life, I haven't seen many successful people who were able to do that, just to back right off. The successful entrepreneurs stay in it, show their team, lead their team from, from the front lines, and it's like, follow me, do what I do. I started this, I created this, now we're doing this together. Here's what I need out of you. And look, I'm still putting in all the work. I'm still doing all these things. I'm not asking you to do anything that I'm not doing here today. That's success. I love it.